So we're planting tomatoes today. This variety is called Tasty Lee. They're a determinate tomato, which means they only grow to a certain height and then they stop. Uh, so we have 36 inch stakes, stakes for them. Uh, next door we have our cherry tomatoes, which are indeterminate. They'll continue to grow throughout the season. Uh, so we have 72 inch stakes for those. Eventually they will grow over the stakes and at that point we just top them off. We go with what's called the basket weave method. Uh, it's very similar to what we do with our peas, except for uh, we have to use more stakes. So between every two, two plants, there's a stake. And of course, there's one on, the, on each end as well. The ones on the end we put at a slight angle because uh, uh, all the weight from the tomatoes will pull them. Uh, so angle it back away from the row on both ends. And then we use tomato twine and we tie it on both sides of the stake. Uh, we do one side at a time. So we'll tie, tie it around this end of the stake. Come to the first plant on this side. And then as we go to the next plant, we'll cross it so it's on the back side. And then when we get back to the stake, uh, we tie, wrap it around this end, come back around, and then repeat. So on the bottom, it actually crosses, the string crosses and ties the tomatoes in. Uh, then every string after the bottom string, we just go down on both sides, but we do one side at a time. We'll come around, just wrap around, and continue on. Uh, so it's a, a method we've used for years. We've had good results. Uh, we see a lot of people that use tomato cages, a lot of people that use you know, cattle panels or fencing. Uh, we like this pretty well. Uh, we don't have to store all the tomato cages or the fencing. Um, and we found that the tomato cages, really you can damage a lot of fruit that way. Um, some, some fruit will get damaged from, from the strings. You know, the fruit will grow into the strings and you know, you can see where it was on the fruit. The, the fruit isn't, isn't damaged in the sense that you can't eat it, but a lot of people at farmer's markets, you know, will shy away from the ones where the strings pressed against it and, and made an indentation into the tomato. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna finish driving the stakes in and then we'll get these tastily tied up. Uh, one of the best things that, that can you really have on a homestead, if you're gonna have animals, if you're gonna do a lot of staking of tomatoes or, or peas or cucumbers or pole beans, is one of these. Uh, this is a fence post pounder. Obviously it's a hand one. Pretty simple. Put it on top of the stake. That's two hand. And you just raise and lower it and drive the stake or fence post in that way. Uh, really makes life a lot easier. Uh, it's a lot better than a, a three or five pound hammer. Uh, you don't have to worry about this fence post pounder coming off and, and hitting your hand as you're holding the stake. Uh, so really a great way to put stakes or T-posts in. Uh, so if you're going to have livestock, you'll find that you're going to be putting in a lot of fence posts, um, T-posts specifically, and this fence T-post pounder or fence pounder really does a great job. Really change your life if you're driving a lot of stakes or, or fence posts. So we'll, uh, we'll keep working on these tasty leaves and we'll get them the stakes drove and then we'll get them tied up.